Thank you for tuning in to Serendipity with Sheila, the podcast that helps you align your mission with your passion. As a universal master energy healer, Sheila can help you awaken and align with your true self so you can live the purposeful life you were made for. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to Serendipity with Sheila and I am your host, Reverend Sheila B. Tillich. Welcome everybody. Today's show is going to be really exciting because you're going to hear a little bit about me (laughs) and what I do and who I am. So I want you to just sit back and let's pretend that we're just sitting across from each other, you know, we're just having a nice little talk. But I want to share a little bit about who I am and what I do. So Serendipity with Sheila is about all the things that are lining you up to be who you are as a soul. And I am a galactic grandmother, and I am also a star mother channeler. What does that mean? That means that I'm here with the wisdom of the galactic force and the star mothers, helping you live your most divine potential as a soul. My practice is about energy psychology, and also I'm a healer. I do a holistic healing practice. I do many, many things. I'm also a teacher and a trainer. But what I love most is helping you awaken, helping you get unstuck, helping you find your purpose in life. And so I'm very, very grateful to the Star Mothers. I'm grateful for my parents, (laughs) for birth in me, and I am grateful to help you rebirth who you are, who you really are. What does that mean? Well, your divine soul, all right? And uh, believe it or not, we come from the stars. And at this time, there's a huge shift of consciousness, which means an awakening, awakening of our spiritual divineness, our core spiritual truth of who we are. And it is this time that many are awakening and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what it means. I am so grateful that the star mothers and my spirit guides, and my guardian angels, who have always been with me since I was a child, are here to help me live my passion of helping you. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to shine my light, to help others shine their light. And this is the time of great awakening. Now, let me go back a little bit, and some of you have heard some of my other podcasts, but I have been able to communicate with angels since I was a little girl and I always knew that they were driven me and they were here for a reason and as I have grown I have learned so much about my soul and my purpose and I've gone through many challenges and obstacles in my own life and that is the wisdom that I have encountered the wisdom that I have learned in this lifetime But I also have been able to tap in to my past lives, the other times that I've been in human form and also in the galactic form. In other words, my soul. So my soul has been emerging the whole time I've been a human in this lifetime. And now, during this paradigm shift, my soul is awakened to who I truly am. I'm a divine soul. I'm from the universe, and so are you. And at this time, I'm here to share my wisdom as a shamanic grandmother, share my wisdom as an actual grandmother, human grandmother, right? And also to help you put the two together with the actual paradigm shift that is here now, and how you can actually use this beautiful energy that's here now to improve your life. That's what my practice is all about, is helping you get unstuck and helping you live in that beautiful divineness. Help you live in this beautiful paradigm shift. So, I do many, many things, but um, there is a technique that I do and I call it the soul DNA merging. What is soul DNA merging? What is that? Well, for me, How I like to explain it is that I help you with this technique connect your physical DNA, physical body, and also your divine multidimensional spiritual body, which is your soul. 
And I kind of merge those two together with the help of the grandmothers. The galactic family is here helping us in huge force. And I'm here to help you help yourself. So soul DNA merging is a beautiful technique that I do. And this is about you learning to walk in your physical daily life with the power of your soul. You, as a divine soul, have many, many abilities. You have abilities that you've always had, and we used to call it the sixth sense, you know, know something and all of a sudden something happens. It's like, oh, how did that happen? Well, that's your ability. That's your intuition. That is your sensing. That is your knowing. And some people call them the clairs. Yeah, they're the clairs, but there's more to it than that. You are a divine soul with a multidimensional frequency that is inside your DNA. And that is what science has come to know and also is recognizing in society in very, very small ways, but it is here. And this is actually causing a new rebirth of people, or a lot of people know it as a Kudalini rising. All right. It is the awakening of who you really are. And also, it is the awakening of the connection between Mother Earth, all right, where we live, all right, and also how you live your life going forward with Mother Earth and also the frequency with the actual paradigm consciousness field that's here now, which means others that are in this realm of consciousness is starting to emanate a beautiful, coherent frequency of love. Are you ready to expand your healing? Visit SheilaTillich.com slash events to find an online or in-person event near you. That's SheilaTillich.com slash events. Now back to the episode. So my role as a galactic grandmother is to rebirth this beautiful frequency using Mother Gaia frequency and also the consciousness field around you to bring forward your divinity. As you continue to awaken, all right, many things are happening that are also triggering you. Triggering you of things of energy that has been stored in your DNA. In your DNA, meaning your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, and most importantly, your soul body. So, this actual triggers are happening is also has to do with the programming that you have as being a human, as surviving, how you live your life. And those triggers sometimes are painful. The power with this new energy that we have now is to squash those painful triggers that you have that has been programmed into your DNA from all your lifetimes and also your life experiences. So as you go forward in this new paradigm shift, new consciousness field, you can start to tap in to your potential of changing those old programs. Rewrite your story. Co-create. And the old way of living it is manifesting. But manifesting is a very great way. And what, what does it mean to manifest? It means that you have an intention or a desire to do something. So you put it out into the energy field and with affirmations or uh, growth in yourself, all right, to manifest something. You work toward something. Well, this actual, oh, do you hear the rain outside? It's raining outside. Mother Gaia's here. Absolutely. And that's what I love. In my office, I have a beautiful window here that connects me with the outside. And it actually is raining. And I love how Mother Gaia shows herself in whatever I do. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to go back to where I was. I'm sorry. I just... I just, I just love talking about Mother Gaia. So let's go back to your, the triggers and the programming that you've had. And where me, as a energy uh, practitioner, all right, um, I help you learn about 
things that are stuck inside you, things that you have learned, and I call them programming, right? So this is the time that we are being triggered by things that have kept us stuck. And, and it's the reason why they've kept us, kept us stuck is that we learned to live our life from programs, whether it was in your early childhood or whether it was past lives that came through too. So we are learning to live in this new paradigm shift and we are being triggered by things that are locked inside our DNA, our physical body, our emotional body, and our mental body. And we are learning that we can do different. What does that mean? We can do different. But first we gotta know what that different is. And sometimes it's very helpful if you know how did you have that root cause of pain? That's what I like about energy psychology because energy psychology goes back to like the very beginning as your human life in this lifetime in the environment that you were in and the, the things that you learned to survive. The things that you believed or were taught to believe and also this is also you can call it the programming that you had. So during this paradigm shift many people are starting to realize that there's a connection with your feelings and your actions and many people are stuck meaning they're not happy with their life and they don't know why but they do know that things are happening for a reason that they cannot deny anymore that's where the serendipity comes in and the synchronicity so it goes hand in hand serendipity and synchronicity in other words everything is being lined up Things are being shown to you, and now you can't deny it. You have to look at it. And that is what is happening in humanity right now. That is the shift of us awakening that there may be a different way to live, a different way to respond. It also is about happiness, fulfillment, and joy that each and every one of you have with inside you. That is your divine potential as a soul. I love connecting one-on-one. -on -one. It's called intimacy. in to me see And through my practice, what I do is I share intimately experiences and my wisdom of the things that I've learned through all the years I've been in this lifetime. But what is really cool is that my soul has taken over and I've allowed that because I wanted to change. I wanted to grow. I knew there was more to my life. And so I put it out there into the energy field. And they answered from a little child, from my childhood. I knew I was not alone. And I knew those angels were there to protect me and to help me. Today I know that they were the star mothers. My soul was awakening to things I remembered who I really was. As you go forward, you too can tap into the divineness. Tap into your soul. So what I like to do is to help you do that. And I have a technique called soul DNA merging. That's how I do it. Why I like soul DNA merging, it's a very simple procedure to do or technique. All right. And I actually connect a lot of times in my practice. I will start my healing practice with that just, just a little bit to kind of help people get into the flow of the energy. And then I actually do energy healing also. All right. So I do now offer and I'm very, very um, glad that the Star Mothers told me this is what I was going to do to actually help you merge your soul with your physical body so that you can learn to live in your divineness every day. Doing soul DNA merging will help you daily have intuition stronger, have knowingness, 
because this field of energy is out there. That is the connective connectivity that we have, or the collect, collective connect, connection. The collective consciousness field is that there are many others that are awakened at this time, and they're doing the same thing. They're starting to say, oh my God, I'm on, I'm, I feel stuck, I'm not happy. And they're asking to be shown to change, to grow, all right? And so um, that's, that's part of the paradigm, that the, that the energy is changing. I love being a new energy educator. And a lot of people say, what is that, Sheila? It just means awakening, all right? Is that you're, you're, you're feeling and you realize and you recognize something is different. And there's nothing wrong with the old energy. A lot of people say, why do you say new energy? The old energy, it's energy. It is energy. But we are growing in this energy as humans. And isn't that how, what we've always done? That's how science works. That's how we live our lives. We're always growing from the old to the new. Monthly group healing sessions are now available on sheilatillich.com slash events. These group healing sessions take place on the first Tuesday of every month and include guided group healing and or exercises depending on the need of the group. Because this is a more intimate group, it is developed based on the needs of the group during the session. This is to support us as we move through this ascension process and we are experiencing similar things at the same time. To register for the next monthly group healing sessions, please visit our event page, sheilatillich.com slash events. Thank you for listening. Now back to the episode. So old energy, there's nothing wrong with it. It is, it is just where we were as humanity. And now the energy, the magnetic field, or it has changed the consciousness grid of the earth, meaning the energy of the earth and how it applies to us in our physical body. Many people are having different type of symptoms we call them ascension symptoms, which is affecting their body. And they're going to the doctors and checking everything out, and the doctor can't find anything through tests is because it cannot be seen yet. The multidimensional energy that's here. However, it is being recognized. And very shortly in humanity, you will see more discoveries come out is because this new energy or this vibrational frequency that's out there Many people are awakening to it. So that is the collective consciousness where we can actually tap into the energy and help each other grow and expand. All right? So that's just a little little tip of the new energy and how we can use it. So for me, um, I love doing soul DNA merging. I love awakening to my physical DNA. In other words, my senses. All right, how I feel when I feel out of sorts, you know, um, the things that I can do to get me back centered. And that's exactly what soul DNA merging does, is that you sit in the present moment, all right? You set the intention of merging your soul with your body, your DNA, your physical body, all right? Noticing how you're feeling inside. What's going on, you know? Not judging it not actually trying to fix it, all right? Just observing what's going on inside your body. And you can do it any time. The key is, is you actually set the intention that I, you want to merge your soul with your physical body. So this is what I do, I hope you do, all right? So um, I'm excited to actually start to offer this on a monthly basis. I'm going to be having uh, a monthly event uh, for anybody can join and also, as they join and, and participate in this, they learn how to tap into their soul. It, it is about a self-healing process or self-discovering process that you go through and realizing how powerful you are to step in your divineness. And as I always say, to step into your power. Step into your power, dear one. Step into your power. And the star mothers are here channeling through me the whole time in anything that I do, but also you will recognize them when we talk, just like what just happened. So dear ones, okay, I'm back. <laughs> 
Um, I want to invite you to step into your divineness. Step into who you really are as a soul. Say yes and take action and do different. Not harder. A lot of us are doing harder. You know, we try this, we try that, whatever. Really, is that you have the power inside you. You always have. That's your spiritual divineness that you have. And I love sitting, talking with people, sharing, helping, showing how they can actually step into their divineness and change their life and have a more fulfilled, loving, compassionate life. Enjoying life, being happy, joyful. It's very important to be joyful, no matter what is happening in your life. And grateful. Grateful for the experiences that you've had. That's the serendipity. Things happened for a reason. To help you learn lessons, to help you grow as a soul, as a person, to help others in your life as you move forward. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little talk, this little podcast with Serendipity with Sheila. This is about being real, about being who you are. So, come back. Join me anytime. You can listen to the podcast. All right. You also can connect with me on my website, SheilaTillich.com. I offer many, many services, many things to help you live your life as a divine soul. Thank you for listening to this podcast with me. I bid you goodbye. Namaste. Shalom. Amen. And so it is, dear one. So it is. Bye now. Are you looking for tools, jewelry, meditations, and merch to remind you to stay in tune and in the present? Make sure you stop by SheilaTillich.com slash store. And while you're there, visit SheilaTillich.com slash subscribe to get a discount code for a free meditation from the store.